there are just rats all over Paris. Oh my god, there's one over there stirring around. I was born in Paris. I love my city. And we decided to go and show what has become of Paris in the last few years and caused angry Parisians to create the hashtag Saccage Paris, wrecking Paris. The city of Paris has now become dirty, unsafe, uglier, and entire chunks of what to tourists looked like the typical ethos and the typical aesthetic of the city of Paris have been willfully destroyed by the administration of Han Hidalgo. For the past 20 years, a red-green coalition has ruled Paris and they, bit by bit, have destroyed what makes the city so iconic. seated in a cafe in Place des Ternes in West Paris. We're very close to the Arc de Triomphe and other uh, Paris monuments. And with me is Stéphane Antoine. He is one of the people who have been very active on social media with the hashtag Saccage Paris, wrecking Paris. When did you start consciously documenting what was happening to Paris? I think I started to be interested in this subject maybe like uh, five or six years ago. Pretty much around 2015, 2016, that's when things started to deteriorate, especially since the new mayor was elected in 2015. Many people tend to focus on the mayor, Anne Hidalgo. She's a symptom, but she, I don't think she's the cause of everything. The real cause is the ideology of the socialist green coalition, which has been ruling the city for the last 21 years. They've been in power for 21 years. In any democracy, I think when a party is in power for so long, they become complacent and they don't do their job anymore. Would you say that uh, the city of Paris has stopped being the inspiration for other cities uh, in the rest of the, the world and in Europe? For a long time, the city lived on its uh, heritage. But that heritage is fast disappearing. And I think people in the rest of the world have not realized that because this has taken place very recently. I would say the past three years I've seen a great disappearance of Paris heritage. A city councillor or a mayor is supposed basically to remove trash from the street, maintain street furniture, maintain the pavement of the street. That's very mundane. But that's not what they are interested in. These are ideologues and they want to, as they say, re-enchant the world. That's the old motto from the 1980s. They want to build a city on a hill. So they want to make a car-free city of the 21st century where everybody will be riding bicycles. They want to reinvent life and force people to live into their reinvention. We are now going to start a sort of trek through the streets of Paris. The state of cleanliness in Paris. It's very bad, very, how do you le contraire de clean, very... It's very dirty. Yes. Si vous very, very dirty. Oh, I really, really like it. Yes? It's an amazing place. Where do you come from? In Germany. Oh. And do you find it clean and in good shape? Yes, it's much better than 10 years ago. It's awful. It's disgusting, you know. More and more. 
this was a very residential place and now it's a dust bin, you know. You can see everywhere, have a look, have a look, everywhere. And now we have the mask everywhere and nobody clean, nobody, nobody. It's awful. Paris is a terrible city, dirty, terrible dirty. I don't know if it's on purpose. I, it's like that. I, I don't know why, but it's a fact. It's terrible. It's a fact. I love Paris. Yes. Uh, my mother, my father, my brother live in uh, USA, New Jersey. New Jersey. Yes. But uh, I pay for. I live here. I have said all what you see, the dirt, the everything. It's it's awful absolutely awful in Paris. Why is the mayor doing this? Simply because she, she's not taking care of this beautiful city. Of course, something went wrong when we had the Gilets Jaunes. They really completely uh, damaged the city everywhere. And after that, nothing really has been done to put it back in good order. Ah bah, vous avez une opinion sur l'état de Paris, non Ça va, tout va bien. Tout va bien. Moi, je trouve que c'est une très belle ville, ça n'a pas changé. Qu'est-ce que vous avez observé ces dernières années dans l'état de la ville Que tout va de plus en plus mal. Voilà. Et, euh, ça ne, ça ne, euh, tout, tout, toute la circulation est de pire en pire. J'habite ici depuis bah, 1930. Ah oui. C'est pour vous dire, j'ai connu euh, beaucoup de choses euh, différentes dans le quartier. J'ai connu la guerre, j'ai connu tout ça. Et bien maintenant, euh, on n'avait encore jamais vu ce que notre maire actuel a fait. This is the city of Paris as the mayor likes it. You can see bikes everywhere. You can see crab grass at the foot of the trees. You can see crab grass actually in the street because the city doesn't use pesticides anymore because they are not green. And you've got the dream cycling lane that the mayor likes. It's a wide lane and it's bordered by concrete all along. You see here a uh, refuse that hasn't been picked up for at least two days because you've got one bag and an old bag. You see over here in the middle of the avenue, you see bits of concrete marking out in the bottom a cycling lane and the other one just there, we don't know why. And these things, most of them are painting in yellow and yellow is code for temporary, but they have been here for several years. One of the aims is just to make traffic difficult. The other one is the fact that they need people to move them around and they can't send people. There's a whole issue about the number of worked hours by Paris city personnel. They work something like 1200 hours uh, a year. This is under the national average. The French national body of accounts has taken the mairie to task saying, you have to have workers of the city of Paris work at least 35 hours a week, and it is almost impossible to achieve without union problems. Well, these are temporary traffic lights, but they stay there for years. It's bent, it's badly repaired with some uh, brown duct tape. They have uh, subcontracted the maintenance of street lights and lampposts to a company that does a crappy job, but the, the city hall doesn't really oversee their work, and this is the result. And we've got lots of them in many streets and many around this mall. We've been looking at concrete cubes all over Paris and these are supposed to be temporary. They are deeply ugly. This is on what is arguably the most beautiful avenue in Paris. It was designed in the 19th century under Emperor Napoleon III. It is the widest avenue in Paris. It's wider than the Champs-Élysées. It's got gardens on either side. The gardens now are only sporadically cultivated and it's an avenue where rich people live and therefore the mairie doesn't like them. This is very symbolic of the new policies of the city of Paris. You can see that this is a bike lane to delineated by concrete blocks. And you can see here on the paving stones that this used to be a parking space for handicapped person with a sign. But for the city, you have to be young, you have to be fit, and it doesn't matter for the lame, they just can go live somewhere else. See here, they cut this tree, typical example. First, they removed the, the wrought iron grill. The tree was weakened, and then they had to cut the tree. And th there are lots of trees like that in Paris now. In the past three years, they cut hundreds of trees. And that's one example among many others. 
This bench was designed by the Paris urban architect Davieu, and he designed most of Paris's iconic furniture, the furniture, the lampposts, the benches, the street signs, all of this that makes you think about Paris, and he designed them between 1885 and 1881. Look at the state of the bench. You can see that it's been allowed to rot here, that it's not been repainted, it's graffitied here. You can see that the base has been left in bad shape as well. And one day, soon, the mayor will say, this is in such bad shape that we have to replace it. And then they have a choice of extremely expensive modern street furniture, which is conceptual and looks like either concrete coffins or looks like rotten wood. You can see behind me one of the truly iconic monuments of Paris. And when I say a monument, it is the Guimard design in 1900 for metro stations. And that is a symbol of Paris as tourists and Paris lovers know it. And if you look up, you see beautiful buildings with caryatids and molding and architectural detail and neoclassical style, which is what was built in the second uh, half of the 19th century uh, and made Paris the city that was imitated all over the world. But if you look around Paris at street level, then the landscape changes, and Paris is a city that has become dirty, unpleasant, unsafe, and essentially chaotic. We've only been two days in those neighborhoods, which tourists know, which people who think of Paris think of instinctively, and they are not the ones who are in the worst shape in East Paris the situation is even more dire. And even that area that is the first area where foreigners come, that is something that uh, shows a decay and an amount of destruction that is due to the new administration. Now the mayor of Paris, Anne Hidalgo, is running for president. She's the socialist candidate. We are six months from the French presidential election. And the image, uh, the first image that visitors to Paris find is not something that's going to encourage them to go and look further.